Hello? Hey. Because it's freaking cold. Um. I just put everything up on my Etsy store. If you guys want to look at it before I tell. Stores! They were the three. If you guys want to look at it before I tell everybody else, you're welcome to. Just a heads up, there's some cool stuff on there. Anna? <laughs> cool. Oh, sad. Sorry. I don't have any control over that. Move closer to the US, I guess. Thanks, Rhino. Cool. Hey, guys. Hey, folks. Hi, hello. Show us the snow. Uh, it's not, there's not snow. It's just cold outside. Alexa, play copyright free jazz. Crossway, copyright free lo-fi slash. That's it for us up for 21 months. Cold. Matt, thank you for the 21 months. Cold. Cold. Wow. You thrifted that shirt? I did. How'd you know? I'm gonna be honest, I thrifted this, but it's, uh, it's Shein. Everyone buys shit from Shein and then donates it immediately. But I actually, it's kind of comfy, to be honest. I would never buy Shein, though. Like, virgin Shein. <laughs> Emiliano, thank you. Carolux, thank you. Striz, thank you, thank you. Is that a clickbait title? Ah, uh, we'll see. Later. I don't know. Is it freezing? Dude, it's like... 17 degrees. Catched 127 subbed for the first time. Wow. Cat, thank you. 33 sknees resubbed for four months. Wow. Dan the Rage resubbed for 28 months. Them cowboys. Bees oh, knees. Wow. Krosik. Berzer is up for 35 months. Danny, Berzer. Yeah. David, thanks for buying something from the Etsy store. What'd you buy? Wait. You paid that much for shipping for the fucking slug? Oh my god. I'm so, so sorry. Activated. Are you aware that you did that? Yeah, probably. Damn, dude. The slug's going to the UK. <laughs> he paid like twice as much for shipping as the slug. It's so shit, too. Alright, anyway. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Uh... Today 
is Monday. You know what that means? Meal prep. You know what else that means? Uh, C, thanks for ordering something. Um, you know what else that means? My pipes are frozen. <laughs> we got no water, but I do have this. It's just like the good old days, huh? Just like the good old days. How do pipes freeze at 17? Let's everybody prepare ourselves for today. Whenever anyone mentions that they are cold uh, in Texas, let's everybody brace themselves for the absolute mob of angry, angry men that say, you don't know cold of it. You don't know cold if it's left here in the I live in Antarctica. It's negative 65 degrees here. Pussy, that's, get ready for them. How are you cold? It's, I, I, I'm from California, okay? Number one. Number two, Texas doesn't have the infrastructure to deal with the cold. Okay. Thank you. Number three. I don't like the cold. I get cold when it's 60 degrees outside. I wear a sweatshirt in 65 degrees. I don't know if you've noticed, there's not a lot of insulation going on here. Okay? So, I get cold and I am cold and I stand by that. But it's not 60, it's like 15. Oh, wow. Kirasha 314 resubbed for 26 months. Karasha! Sorry, your pipes are frozen. Thank you. Um. Wear a sweatshirt, but not right. Dude. Are people gonna get mad because I'm not wearing a sweatshirt inside my house right now? Do I need to get a sweatshirt so people don't get mad at me for saying that I'm cold? Saying that it's cold outside? I am a little chilly, I just don't really feel like putting on a sweatshirt right now. Anyway, all right, Alexa, turn it down. Um, anyways. Wow. I, OG frag out, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's Monday already? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Uh, so I got some groceries. Um, not a lot. I got virtually no protein this week to cook, which is good. I feel like that's fine. In order to compensate for my lack of protein, I'm going to have to drink a smoothie every day. Wow. A frozen one. Marco asks zero for seven months. We have another, thank you for the seven months. We have another three days of it being like, super shitty and then all of a sudden like the end of the week it's gonna be fucked up when i go to kickflip this week i imagine wow. we'll see what that looks like because if it's like this i'm not I'm, I'm simply not going to do it sorry if it's plus 20 degrees i'll do it Know your onions. Thank you. IRL Katie. Thank you. Katie for eighteen months. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, I didn't get any protein really, except chia seeds have protein in it, but not. I mean, it has two grams of protein per tablespoon. So if I eat like a whole thing of chia pudding, I maybe like get like five grams of protein. Maybe 10 if I eat like a ton of it. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Thank you for the four months. Hello. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I'll figure that out this week. I'm just not worried about it. I'm going to be honest. Let's talk about veganism a little bit, right? I've been vegan all of January. Uh, it was so easy the first two weeks but then once you start once you like go out uh 
and you like have to get food out and about, it's really hard. <laughs> um, it's not, it's not, it's not easy. The first two weeks, because I was like mostly at home, it was really easy. Snacking is hard. Um, I also, admittedly, have been having like serious, like, I guess dairy cravings is what it is. My boyfriend was like, maybe you haven't had enough calcium. I don't, like, I considered genuinely putting uh, vegan coffee creamer in my lemonade the other day, which is very strange. I feel like not something I would normally want to do, but I just like, crave like some I just want to eat something creamy and I think that it's because I don't know I just I don't feel like satiated sometimes um so I don't know um it got hard after two weeks I'm finishing out January um I think after January I don't, I don't know exactly what Kayla and Lindsay are going to do, but Kayla and I have kind of talked about, Kayla was like, I'm just going to be like situationally vegan. She's like, if I, if I cook for myself at home, it's going to be vegan. If I go out, I'm not going to like look up if McDonald's French fries are vegan. If there's not an animal product in it, I'm going to eat it. You know, like I actually, the other day I went to a, a Mexican place. I got a bean and rice burrito, but I didn't ask them like, is this cooked in animal fat? I, honestly, it probably does have some sort of animal fat in the refried beans, but I didn't ask them. I was like, is beans and rice? I'm just going to do that. Um, so I think that's the plan. But I do think it'll be really easy for me to go straight vegetarian. Um, just might consume like a little bit of dairy here and there and be less strict about it. Example, yesterday I went to a restaurant. They serve bread and butter. I ate bread without the butter, but then my boyfriend ate half the butter, and then the rest of the butter is getting thrown away. Because it's like it came in a little jar thing, and I could have eaten the other half of the butter, but I was like, I'm vegan. But then it's just getting thrown Like, that's dumb. You know, that kind of thing is dumb. Uh, and then, yeah, that's all I got. Also at the restaurant. Axolotl, Alexolotl, happy birthday! Cool. I wasn't talking to you. Not whack. Thank you for the sub, Alexa. Play. Uh, and then I grabbed a mint on my way out of the restaurant because it just like it didn't have any text on it. It was just like a little package, like a little mint. I put it in my mouth. I think it was chocolate. So I was like, oh, do I spit this out? This is definitely not vegan. But then I just ate it. <laughs> I couldn't really tell if it was chocolate, though. I'm not sure. So anyway, I'm trying to be really strict in January because I really want to be like, I did a full month, like, entirely vegan. But I'll, I'll probably chill after, after January. Okay, you might be wondering what this is. Um, for Valentine's Day... Alveus does a fundraiser, right? Um, and we give the animals Valentine's themed enrichment and then I raffle off some crafts that I've done. So I started needle felting. Um, I'm needle felting toast first. It's not, uh, it's obviously not done, okay? Ghost for so months. don't worry. But, oh, once it, once I make it better, oh, <laughs> it's going to be good. Um, so I'm going to needle felt as many of the ambassadors as possible, raffle these off for the Valentine's Day event. Stompy's going to be three on Valentine's Day. That's Stompy's hatch day. And then, thank you for the 32 months. And then, uh, and then we'll, we'll raffle all these off. I just wanted to show you that because that's what I've started doing. Um, all right. Blue suede, thank you for the 32 months. It's a long time. Ghosty, thank you for the 30 or 22 months. Hype train, thank you. Uh, you guys want to see what I got from the grocery store? Number one, apparently Skinny Pop is vegan. The, oh, the salted one, obviously not the buttered one. Um, but this is just uh, popcorn, sunflower oil, and salt, which is huge because 
I've been at a, at a lack of snacking foods. Takis are vegan, hot Cheetos are not. I like hot Cheetos more, potentially controversial. Now I gotta get into popcorn, I guess. I also bought this popcorn because it's just salted vegan. I ate some last night, so that's why it's open. Oh, okay. Okay, snacks. They were out of sourdough bread. So I got bagels. I haven't had bagels in a long time, but I don't know, they seem good. I got bagels, oh, I got some refrigerated things. I got bagels, I got um, my dairy-free spread, garlic and herb spread to put on the bagels. I got frozen hash browns and I got avocados. So I can put the frozen hash browns in the toaster and put avocado on it, incredible, great. Um, bagels are 100% not vegan. Uh, bread is, I just, I guess I just assumed bagels are. Molasses. Uh, yes, they are. Uh, chia seeds and coconut milk. I'm gonna make chia pudding. Uh, I also got pineapple preserves, um, to layer in my chia pudding. Never done that, but I feel like this is coconut milk and this is pineapple, so maybe it'll be like a pina colada. I don't know. For the first time. Thank you. Potato, Potato onion, zucchini, red pepper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really be thank you. Sam, thank you. Potato, zucchini, onion, pepper, Cornstarch. I saw a TikTok. This girl cut up a bunch of veggies, mixed it with some cornstarch, and she made potato pancakes. I, or she made veggie pancakes. I want that. Wow. So I'm gonna do that. Ho, help! Thank you. Um, I got oh, I got agave for my chia pudding, and I bought pasta, but I already have some pasta, so I will just use that pasta. And then, oh yeah, okay. Then I got this, this vegan mac and cheese. I've tried, not that many, a few vegan mac and cheeses, some just shocking that it seems illegal that they can sell it and say that it's mac and cheese because it just doesn't taste like mac and cheese at all. Very strange. This one, uh, I've tried it and I like it. Like I don't mind eating this um, compared to like normal mac and cheese. So I will not be trying any more good enough. I don't want to take the risk because the other ones were so bad. So this is it. <laughs> so I got mac and cheese for later. Um, so with the pasta, I'm going to make another, I'm going to make like a creamy spicy tomato sauce pasta. I'm going to make veggie pancakes and I'm going to make chia pudding and that's going to be it today. Do you guys want to see what I put on my Etsy store? You guys want to see the stuff that I made last week? I'm really excited about it. Daya is awful. Actually, I think Daya tastes really good. Uh, there's just nothing good for you in it. Wow. Sage, thank you. No. Everything on the Etsy store is bought. What? Oh God. Oh. Okay. <laughs> toast? Thank you for buying things. Let me show you what they are. Um, okay, so I made things. Number one, <laughs> okay, I saw um, on Instagram a stuffed banana slug, but like an actual one that you buy, uh, like that you buy from an actual manufacturer. And I was like, it's just, a, I was like, that's such an easy, it's gotta be so easy to make. Like that's such an easy pattern. And so I didn't look up a pattern. I didn't look back at that picture. I was just in my head. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna cut three pieces. Uh, they don't line up at all. Like, they're not, like, look at... <laughs> but it is! <laughs> Hercules! 77 Hercules! Thank you. But it is slug-shaped. And yes, his eyes stick out too far. But I felt like if I did... Oh, maybe that's better. No, I like them like that. <laughs> 
You can pin them if you want. I don't know where to put the eyes of a slug, all right? I had them sticking out. I feel like it's, you gotta smile. I feel like it's fine. Uh, this is scrap fabric that I had from the RuneScape. Uh, oh, wow. Blanket cape. Red surfs resumped for 49 months. Red surfs, Old thank friend. you for the 49 months. Um, so this slug is going all the way to the UK. Dude spent more in shipping than the item costs. Thank you. Please enjoy your slug. That's number one. Um, number two, I made a couple pins. I went to a new thrift store and they have some craft stuff. So I, I found a bunch of pin backings. Like how cool. And I was like, oh my God, I can just make a bunch of pins. That's so fun. So I used polymer clay, which is an oven baked clay. Um, and I made a Luna moth pin. Hello? I made a Luna moth. It's a little fucked up, but it's fine. And then I made a, a ghost. And I put iridescent chrome powder on the ghost. You can't tell, but he's shinier than he would be if I didn't put that on. Um, so yeah, they're just little pins. I don't know. You could put them on whatever you want. I guess. They're cute. I like polymer clay a lot. I've been using it a lot. Um, these keychains I made a while. I made these before the Etsy store, actually. This is really fun. You can do this too. Um, where's all my plastic? Oh, it's, it's up in my loft. You know when you, okay, um, I don't really have an example. You know when you buy, or when you take away a container from a restaurant and it has like the clear plastic top? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, wow. Or like, Some if you buy a cake from the grocery the store and the top is like flat and clear, it's like on a cake. Plastics like that, you can cut out the, the flat bits and then they're shrinky dinks. You probably shouldn't breathe it in, but like, I don't know, I'm fine. And I did it. You just put them in the oven for like three minutes. <laughs> you can like take plastic a underscore Dire Wolf, underscore Sunny, thank you guys. Um, you can take that plastic, draw on it with Sharpie, cut it out, and then put it in the oven for a few minutes, uh, and they, they shrink. And so, here. What's a shrinky dink? Is that an American thing? You don't know what a shrinky dink is? You never did shrinky dinks? It's shrinky dinks. As a kid, you buy, they send you shrinky dink paper, and then you write on it, and then you bake it and it shrinks and it makes the paper thicker. Oh my God. Okay, you get shrinky dink paper, you make it, you put it in the oven, it goes, it goes and it gets all like shrink and then it gets flat. Okay, look. So I made these shrinky dinks with recycled plastic. It is an armadillo and a hermit crab and I put them together cause I felt like they'd be friends. And it's on like a little keychain. Um, these, when I drew them, they were like this big and then you put them in and then they get small and like, like thicker. And then I made this one and I put three guys on there because I felt like they were all friends and I have a problem with personifying things, uh, that aren't real. And then I get attached to them. So I made a, this one is a duck. Um, and then I made a snail with hearts. And then I made a little flower. This guy got really long. I don't know why he got so long. But kind of cute, right? Just a little keychain. And it's all recycled plastic. Hooray. Yay, plastics. Yay, recycled plastics. Um, this is kind of fucked up. Again, in all the things that I post, I do say if and when they're fucked up. So I said that this was fucked up. Somebody bought it anyway. <laughs> um... Some, t okay, admittedly, some of the plastics don't work. It has to be, there's like a number in the recycling thing, but I don't remember what the number's supposed to be. Like, there were a couple that didn't shrink for me, and then some that did. Good luck. I thrifted scrap fabric, like little rolls of scrap fabric. Um, so I got brown scrap fabric, and look how cute this fabric is. They're little baby lions running with their mom. Are you kidding me? So cute. Um, and then I just, I cut it out and I, I folded it together. I like oh, wow. hand sewed it. 
Um, Big McLarge, huge. Thank you for the 20 months. I hand sewed this bag. Um, I sewed some twine into here so it uh, you can close it. And I figured it could be a good produce bag. Like, Jack, Lop 789 subbed for the first time. Jack, thank you. You need to find six. You need to find plastic that has a six in the recycle thing. Or a dice bag, I guess. I don't know. Um, Terminator subbed for the first time. Terminator, thank you. Uh, if you go to the grocery store, you can put, like, herbs and stuff in this. I wouldn't try to shove, like, three oranges in here. I feel like that would be a little sketchy. It's hand-sewn, you know, so I, I, don't, I did my best. Um, but great for herbs. Light produce. Um, so you don't have to use plastic bags at the grocery store. This is very exciting! It makes me cool, Khalid PLS. Hi, thank you. T-Fries, Tresney. Wow. Tresney 2305 resubbed for 18 months. Maya, he corn, Maya, he cheer. Tresney, thank you. Thank you. Um, this one's very exciting. Okay, for Christmas, Space got me a Cricut, which is a really fancy machine. Uh, it's Bluetooth, it connects to my iPad, um, and I can print on, like, heat transfer vinyl for clothes, and I can print on permanent vinyl uh, for putting it on, like, mugs and glass things. And so I drew this spider on my iPad. Hello. I drew him on my iPad, and then this text I wrote on my iPad, and then I printed it with my Cricut, and then I stuck it on this glass. I made a mug that says spiders are friends. I thrifted this mug. I just thrifted a blank mug. Surprising how many blank mugs there are at the thrift store. I guess people don't want them, because, right. Um, whoever bought this, hand wash it. Don't put it in the dishwasher. I don't know what would happen to him, but I don't know that it would be very pretty. Um, I've never used vinyl, but it's on there. I mean, I don't know. So I got, I bought a bunch of, or I thrifted more glass stuff, glassware, so I can, like I, oh, yay! She has a pet jumping spider that she rescued from oh. the plant nursery she works at. I will hand wash it. That is so cute. She's gonna love it. I love that. Oh my god. <laughs> yay! That's so perfect. Um, I thrifted a bunch of glassware, like this butter dish, and so I'll print, I'll like draw more things, print them on vinyl, and like customize a butter dish. This will probably, will probably sell this next week. Man Ray! Thank you. Um, so yeah, I have a Cricut, it's really cool. Uh, let me show you, actually I think I have a video of it. Here, let me, I'll just show you what, what it looked like, what the process looked like. Check this out. Okay, so like, I drew him, right? I made a, I had to save layers, like I drew him in layers. And then, I like put the layers in the program on my iPad. And then, you put it in the machine and the machine cuts it out because it's a genius. Wow. And you put like the different colors on there and then and then it cuts it out. And then he goes on a mug. What did you get space in return? For Christmas, I flew all the Alvea stuff home. That was my gift to them. I bought their flights home. This, I am very proud of. This is, I have never, I haven't been so excited about something that I've made in a really long time. <laughs> I thrifted this pillow and I took the case off and I embroidered it. I tweeted this because I was so proud of it. Um, and I embroidered this betta fish. More exciting, thrifted the pillow, thrifted necklaces and, uh, earrings and then and they were ugly 
they were ugly necklaces and earrings, but the beads were really pretty. So I took them apart and I used the beads and I hand embroidered the beads onto this fish. Like, look at him. How cool is that? It took me such a long time. So I embroidered his head and his eyeball and then all these beads and these. These are from earrings. So it's a throw pillow. Um, don't lay your head on it. Wouldn't be very comfy. It's a decorate. It's a decorative pillow. That's it. <laughs> That's what I made this week. I've been crafting up a storm, guys. I've been going crazy. Five hundred bits, Mayo. I hope this isn't embarrassing, but I think you spelled her wrong on that cup. People pop, wow. Ten Dawson, a one resub for ten months. I don't know what you're talking about. So anyway, apparently all of these are purchased. So, <laughs> Ujito, <laughs> dink donk, get to work. He ships stuff. So if you have a shipping problem, it's his fault, not mine. All right, excellent. Okay, cool. Well, thank you guys. That's so fun. Um, my plan is to craft all week, all the time, and then uh, post everything on either Sunday night or Monday morning and then show you guys on these streams. So, call them Etsy, my Etsy drops, if you will, <laughs> on Mondays. Okay, um, perfect, perfect crafting weather. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I, it took a lot of motivation for me to stream today, which is dumb, because I'm inside. Like, Ella and Lindsay are out there in the, in the ice taking care of everybody. Um, and I'm just like, man, I feel like I should do nothing today. Why? I'm inside. I can do everything that I would be doing. And I don't have water, but like, bleh, you know, stupid. Um, but here I am. Let's start with the chia pudding. I need to look up the ratio. I have no idea. <gasps> just want to let you guys know that I thrifted these and I saw them one day and I was like, oh, I don't need those. Um, because I have my shitty Target uh, measuring spoons that I got for my dorm in college. I was like, I don't need more measuring spoons. Uh, so I didn't get them and I, I thought about them for three days straight and I went back and they were still there. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? <laughs> They're so cute. I got them for four dollars. It was an important purchase. Okay. Um, chia pudding ratio. Why did she stop? Coconut milk. I don't understand it, but I support it. You don't understand that? Makes a lot of sense to me. All right. Oh my God. Tell me why. Actually, Cutie has told me why. You know in a recipe, how they tell you like their entire life story and their mom's life story before you get to the actual ingredients? Turns out it's just ad space. The more bullshit you write before you put the recipe, the more ads they have to scroll past, so you make money that way. I didn't know that. Also, copyright. So like, you make coconut chia pudding, it's three ingredients, a thousand people have posted that recipe, but if you make it like your own story and you're like, oh, when I was a child, I read a book about Boom Bam Coconut and it made me emotionally attached to coconut chia pudding. And that's why I'm making it today for my dead father. Then it's yours. So you also have to do that. Okay, two cups canned coconut milk, one half cup of chia seeds. How much is in here? 
I don't know. Half cup of... Oh my god, it's cold in this cabinet. <laughs> Interesting. It's not gonna take me very long, folks. I, it also has to sit overnight before it becomes chia pudding. So like, I'm just gonna put the chia and coconut milk and agave in here, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna layer it tomorrow. I just feel like, oh, never mind, saved. Kickflip update, sure. Um, that guy, Ricky, <sighs> that guy, Ricky, he's a professional skateboarder. He has the, the world record for number of kickflips in a minute. I think he did like 35 or 36 kickflips in a single minute. <laughs> um, somehow caught wind of my antics uh, and is, has, ma has made me a video? Has he already done that? I was watching his YouTube live stream the other day which is funny because I was watching on like my alt. I don't know if you can see a viewer list on YouTube. I assume you cannot. Um, but I was watching it. I was, I felt like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> I felt like I was watching undercover. It's weird. He, he watched like all six hours or something of my kickflip attempts. Sped up in two times speed, but like he watched that shit for hours, hours. I was like, man, what is this guy doing? I'm not that interesting, I swear. Here, so everyone can stop complaining about that. Have a funnel. Um, anyway, he watched like all of it. It was very interesting. And him and his chat were talking about my kickflip attempts. And then I guess he made a video, which is cool. Um, so I need to watch that and then do a kickflip, I guess. We watched it live. Yeah, I know. That's true. That's different though, because he knew that whole time that I didn't do a kickflip. You guys, it's, it's fun and exciting because, you know, I might do a kickflip <laughs> at any point. <laughs> Willie, thank you. Um, I will say the only criticism that I have for y'all and Ricky is that everyone took flip way too seriously. Like, you guys need to chill. Everyone's like, oh my god, this guy sucks. He's so annoying. He doesn't know what he's doing. Why isn't he telling her to do, like, Flip is just my cameraman and my friend. He's not a skateboarder or a skateboard teacher. So, like, everyone needs to chill out about Flip. Like, give him a break. Oh my god. It's just, the whole thing is just a joke in the first place. It's not that serious. Please. Thanks for the five months. Yeah. All right. Hope there's two cups in here. Oh, are you kidding me? Let's go. It's good enough. me. I'm going to have to put all these dishes in a bag and bring them to my boyfriend's apartment because I'm not washing the dishes with this. Okay. It's just not, it's not going to happen. I'm going and I'm going to put them in his dishwasher and I'm going to bring them back. Okay. There's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's this. I've never had this agave sweetener. Why don't you have water? Because it's freezing outside. Pipes froze. Eh. Oh, I 
also got my nails done. You saw them when I was showing you crafts. Ah. Oh no, it's sticky. I can't wash my hands. Um, look. Yay! Pink nails. Cute and fun and fresh. Wow. Lulami like Wanra is up for 11 months. Mm. How many inches of snow did you get in Texas? None. Does that seem like enough? I don't know. If that's what tequila is made out of, why is tequila so freaking gross? Pressure 17 resubbed for 21 months. Yo. Peer pressure, thank you. Um. More. What's the gray stuff? Chia seeds? The same reason that vodka is gross, but potatoes are awesome. Interesting. What is that? It's gonna be chia pudding. What's the white stuff? Coconut milk. Are you guys, are you here? <laughs> this has been very simple so far. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so you let this sit overnight and then the chia seeds uh, get real, like, goopy, um, and they thicken up and they expand. And it makes, like, a pudding. It also matches my fit. <laughs> that fit's important. So, this will go in the fridge. Um, and... Maybe, honestly, by the end of the stream, I'll show it to you, because it'll thicken up quite a bit when it's just sitting. Oh, I also got this. Oh. Cold brew concentrate. Um, and you mix it with, like, water and whatever you want, and then you make coffee, but it's really cold, and I don't want to hold it anymore, so I'm going to put it back in there. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that chia stuff is the same thing that you put on a chia pet. Yeah, they sprout. Um, is the shirt thrifted? Yes, it is. Oh, it's also Rainforest Alliance certified coffee, which is cool. I'm stoked about that. So, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, okay. We start chopping these veggies. Let me look at my veggies that I had from literally two weeks ago and see if they are usable or if they're looking like a, a compost guy. No? Why? Dude, this pepper is from the meal prep stream two weeks ago. Easy. So is this. Onion. Easy. Okay. Sick. Um, these nails, I hate talking about this because I, I realized, look, I'm not, per I'm, I let, I would like to think that I'm a relatively low maintenance gal, but I'm just not. And I'm not because I pay for expensive things so that I don't have to do anything every day, right? I get my lashes done, I get my nails done. So I never worry about my nails and I don't have to do makeup, like eye makeup. So it makes everything very easy. I had, a, but that being said, you can shit on me if you want. I know it sounds stupid. I made a very stressful morning for myself yesterday because I wanted to get these nails and lashes done before a certain time. And so I scheduled the nail appointment for 11 a.m. and the lash appointment for 12 p.m. 
It took longer than that. To get my nails done. And if you're 15 minutes late to the lash appointment, they cancel it, you pay in full. They're not messing around over there. Okay, they're really serious. This cutting board was in the sink. Uh, it's not getting washed because I don't have water. Um, so it is what it is. It looks fine to me though. Um, I got these nails done. It's like 1145. I was like, oh shit. I'm gonna miss this lash appointment and I'm gonna have to pay $90 and not get my lashes done. And that sucks. Like that's just a, nobody wants that. Um, and I told my, or my, I called the uh, blah, 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 hair salon, no, lash salon while I was at the nail salon. And I was like, I'm gonna be 10 minutes late. Like, is that okay? And she was like, yeah. And then my nail lady was like, are you gonna be late? And I was like, yes. And then she knew they were gonna charge me. And she was like, just go. My nails are like fucked, right? They're not, they're not done. They're, they're like still matte. They're all fucked up because she hasn't filed them properly. So they look all fucked up. And she's like, go, like, go get, go get to your appointment and then come back to me. And I was like, no, Kelly, <laughs> I can't leave you. And I did. I left with my nails wow. fucked up. Thank you. And then I came back and this is my veggie scrap dish. Uh, save your veggie scraps, freeze them, and then when it's full, put them in boiling water, let them go for like four hours if you want. Salt it, strain it with like cheesecloth maybe. Veggie stock, amazing. Um, so then I went and got my lashes done, sick. Uh, and then I came back to Kelly to finish my nails and she was working on some other girl and she got up and came over and finished my nails in like 15 minutes. So nice. I tipped her a hundred percent. It was so nice. The way I think of it, here's my math. I would have had to pay $100 and not got my lashes done, so then I would have had to pay $200 to get my lashes done. So I only paid $100 instead of $50 to get my nails done, so I actually saved $100, thanks to Kelly. That is terrible math. I don't know what you're talking about. This TikTok, when she did it, I don't know, she made them into like strips like this. Feels kind of weird, but. Stans! Thank you, Stans. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the cooking stream where I cook. I'm making veggie pancakes right now. Um, that's what's happening, so. What container? I use this guy. It's a meal prep stream, actually. Maybe like this. I will not cry. I will not cry. I will not cry. Um. 500 bits 
Mayo, I have a craft idea for you. Get some copper tape, colored glass, and tape around the edges of the glass. Then you can solder the pieces of glass together. Bing, bang, boom, you just made stained glass. Wow. Would that really work? That's sick. Douglasly, Douglas six months. Yo. Yo. Um. I went to a museum yesterday. I went to a contemporary art museum in downtown Austin. Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, yes. Fancy schmancy. Can I be honest with you? I left, like, really pissed off. <laughs> I left really mad from that museum. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, because, here's the deal. If you're into art, you're gonna hate what I'm gonna say. I, look, they look like little candy canes. I, I just, I'm gonna feel like a hater, you know? Like, actually, and I, I, I feel bad that I'm being such a hater. Um, and I don't mean to be one of the people that's like, it's not, it's not one of those, I could do that myself. Like, my, my kindergartner could do that. You know, I'm not doing that. I just, I just don't get it. I don't know. I, 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 my biggest problem with it, I'm not gonna articulate this very well. My biggest problem with it was that, should I shred this potato? I feel like I should. I feel like I should shred it. Yeah, okay. Um, my biggest problem was that modern art is, I mean, art has a message generally, right? But, uh, where's my peeler? Uh, modern art is like, has messages about current social issues, right? But the current social issues are about like marginalized groups and inequality and stuff like that. And it just felt really gross to me in my like fancy outfit on my fancy date with my boyfriend. I paid $10 to get in this art museum. I'm obviously in a very privileged position to where I have the time and the desire to go pay to look at art on a wall that's abstract and like weird it just feels weird to go in there and then there and the people are like here i made this artwork to represent these people and like the inequality that they face and i was like but it's not for those people like anyone that has actual problems like actual things to worry about they're not going to this art museum for fun and like appreciating that you did i don't know it just felt weird I was just like, I, it just, this just doesn't feel right to me. <laughs> and at the end of the day, I'm a little too cynical, yes. But at the end of the day, some of the art pieces that, and it was like a very, like, very abstract art, right? There's like this glass case with like some random pieces sitting in it and then a projector and a picture of this woman and she's like singing and I don't know what she was doing. I, I don't know what she was doing, just being a weirdo. And then it was like, this is for immigrants. And I was like, if you showed an immigrant this and you were like, this is for you, they would be like, what the fuck? Thanks a lot. I don't know. I just, it just feels dumb. <laughs> and when you think about it from that perspective, it just feels like it's being done for the wrong reasons. You know, like if they wouldn't appreciate this, but it's supposed to be for them, then like, who's it for? Like, what, what, why? What is this for? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where my peeler is. I know that I have a peeler because I used it last week. The other thing about that is if you're trying to like spread awareness or change people's minds or I don't know, do something. I found my peeler. Um, do something productive that actually furthers that cause or benefits that cause. The people that are not into it already, uh, they are not going to be into your weird, abstract, 
weird shit. They're just gonna find it more annoying. <laughs> so then it's only for people who already care, who have a bunch of money and are not, not the people suffering within the problem. <laughs> so it's just like, what? What is this? This is for me? <laughs> Am I supposed to feel better because I'm, I'm appreciating? I don't know. I'm being, I'm being shitty. Sorry. Anyway, it left me feeling really like, I just left being really mad. Or I was just really annoyed. Cause I know there's stuff there that I don't, that I don't get. So maybe I'm just too stupid. Litianala, resubbed for 22 months. Heard we are getting a tortoise. How cool is that? You guys want to dinner at a friend's last night and she had two painted turtles that were both 30 years old. I adore turtles. Who wants a sneak peek? You get the tortoise. Um, we got the tortoise because, uh, this family got her as a baby and then had her for four years. Now they're moving and they couldn't take her with her. So they left her with some random lady who didn't know what to do with her. Um, first of all, she's smaller than we expected. She's a good, uh, six by eight. That's my dad's hand. <laughs> she's six by eight. Look, here's her on the move. Whoa! Whoa! You see that? That's push pop. <laughs> her name's Push Pop. She's a Salcutta tortoise. We are working on building an enclosure for her here at Alveus and she's gonna move here. So I'll cut a tortoises. Right now she's that big, but she's gonna be a hundred pounds. Um like this long? They're the third largest tortoise species in the world. But she's just a baby right now. It'll take her like 10 years to get that big. And they can live a hundred years. Uh, Salcuttas are endangered in the wild right now. One, because of the pet trade, they're very popular as pets, and then unfortunately people don't keep them the duration of their lives, because how can you? <laughs> and then uh, they get outcompeted by domestic cattle on native grasslands, because we um, raise so much cattle for the beef industry. a really big potato it's gonna feel probably more like potato pancakes than it is going to like veggie pancakes they are solitary I went out the other night did you guys see my tweet I threw up that's a huge potato it is a really big potato isn't it too cold in Texas for tortoises yes it is uh, she will have an inside space it's insulated Saw you threw up in someone's sink. Let's talk about that. No, I didn't. Okay, this is so fucked up and I got framed. I'll tell you the story of how I got framed, okay? I went downtown the other night. Darion had a birthday party at his house. I did not go to the house party. I was downtown. Darion's roommate, Rocky, tweeted, whoever threw up in my sink, fuck you. And then someone linked my tweet from when I threw up downtown because I tweeted, I threw up. They linked it to him and he said, OMG. And like that house party, I, I don't know if he really thought that I did that. 
because that house party was probably really big. He didn't know if I was there or not. And so I replied, I was like, please no, like I was not at this party. I did not throw up in your sink. I just happened to throw up the same night downtown. What made you throw up? Alcohol. I guess. <sighs> um, but yeah, I went to, uh, I went to bars. Um, it was a very fun time. I went with Jeff and boyfriend and Rune. I don't know if you guys know Rune. Um, she's awesome. Winnie uh, broke her toe. It's that one. That gal. Uh, and I overall had a really good time. I feel like I should squeeze some of the water out of these potatoes. Because... Yeah, it's pretty wet and I don't want my pancakes to fall apart. It's so much potato. I don't know if paper towels are gonna do it, but I don't have another, I don't have a normal towel. Come here, potatoes. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, this is not working. Um, oh, no. It's... Okay, well... That's a lot of moisture. I need more paper towels. Peach. More paper towels. Um, I conducted a survey when I was downtown the other night because it was like a unisex bathroom, which by the way, I don't mind all gender restrooms, never had a problem with those. But when you just put men's and women's together, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Anyway, so, was at the bar, noticed not a single man washed their hands coming out of the bathroom. Which, I realize, is a thing that, uh, that men do. <laughs> so I did a survey, because I'm a social scientist, and, uh, went around the, the bar and asked a bunch of men, whoop, if they wash their hands after they peed. And they all said yes. Right. Of course. Okay. This is what this looks like that we need to season and we need to put cornstarch in here and then make them into pancakes, I guess. Uh, the other thing that I didn't realize that was funny is like, when you, I was. Epic marker is up for 44 months. Thank you. I was doing a survey in the name of science. Should I put another pepper in here? Yeah. I was doing a survey in the name of science, but Every man that I walked up to thought that I was, like, breaking the ice. 
right? Because like I walked up to them randomly and I was like, you wash your hands after you pee? And then they would just answer and then I'd just leave. <laughs> Um, and I didn't realize that until the end of the night. But anyway, they all lied to me, shocker. There's a lot in there. I'm putting a lot of salt. Pepper. <laughs> Yay. Parsley flakes. <gasps> Damn it. I keep forgetting. Okay. This is Okinawan stir fry salt. And we had it in Okinawa and it was really good. And my sister emailed my grandpa and she was like, I love that salt. And then he sent her, she, he shipped her from Okinawa, like 15 of these. And so she shipped me one of these. So this went from Okinawa to Philadelphia to Texas. <laughs> and I should have used it in here, but I just salted it. Dang it. Guys, next cooking stream, you gotta remind me that I have that for something, I don't know. What else do I want in there? Nothing. Or I can use that. God, I'm stupid. Stupid idiot. Paprika. Garlic powder. Chili powder. Yum. Parsley flakes. That's a lot of paprika. You know what paprika is a hack for? If you're a streamer um, and you don't want everyone to lose their minds because your food doesn't look seasoned enough, uh, just put a bunch of paprika on it. It'll taste pretty much the same, but it'll look like you know what you're doing. That goes for guests as well. Okay, what do I do with this cornstarch situation? I need to look at that TikTok. I hope I saved that TikTok. It smells really good, actually. Doesn't look like I, oh. I know you have a ton of vegetables sitting in the back of your fridge that you're probably gonna Spinach. throw out at the end of the week. So if I'm right, you should turn making these crispy Korean vegetable pancakes, AKA yachai jung, Perfect snack or side dish if you're trying to eat more veggies because you can use any vegetables you have on hand. It's definitely an end of the week. Clear out the fridge. Okay, just tell me. Water and salt. Really as simple as that. The batter ingredients you need for the batter are already in your pantry. It's just flour, cornstarch, water, and salt. Really as simple as that. The batter should be right. Okay, well, how much <laughs> cornstarch? Okay, she doesn't tell me, so that's... Good. <laughs> Spinach. I also absolutely could have gotten kicked out of the bar the other night. I don't even think, I, I don't feel like I was being that rowdy. 
but apparently I was like more aggressive than I thought I was being. Um, <laughs> Cause it was like super cold, right? It was, it was like, I don't know, probably 20 degrees or something out there. Um, and there was a bar with an inside and an outside space. And people kept going outside and not closing the door. And it was like heated inside. So I was like, hello? Like, why do you guys keep leaving the door open? So I became like the door person. I stood by the door. The problem though, like that's fine if I was just closing the door. The problem is I've really liked the song Feather lately um, by Sabrina Carpenter. Everybody likes that song. It's like definitely, uh, you know, a top hit of today. Uh, Alexa, play Feather. And I was wearing platform heel boots. So I was wearing like boots that, that had, have a platform like this and a heel. And she wears those when she's performing. And there's this part in this song. I have to show you. <laughs> Slam the door, I, that's what I was doing. Alexa, pause it. Okay, this is what she does. You're watching it again. Why isn't it replaying? How long is this TikTok? Okay, that part where she's wearing the platform boots and she goes, slam the door. I, I was doing that all night at the bar because they kept leaving the door open and that's a waste of energy. And I was wearing platform heels. So I was standing at the door and I was singing slam the door, but I was like slamming the door. Like I was kicking the door closed like a bunch of times. Like I, I probably, I'm not, I'm serious. I probably did it 20 times. And when we got home, my boyfriend was like, I'm surprised you didn't get kicked out for that because you were like slamming the door. And I was like, was I? I didn't even realize it was that hard. But then the manager came out and he put the pin down in the door. So then I went and I was like, slam the door. And I like almost fell because it had a pin in it. And then I left. This is a lot. I'm just, do you guys, no, oh, damn it. I was gonna say, do you think I can just mix the batter in this bowl? Like, no, I should do it in another bowl, but then I'm gonna have, then I'm gonna have another bowl that's dirty. Am I out of flour? Oh God. Are you a flour half empty or half full kind of person? Cause if you're a half empty kind of person, I have bad news. It's empty. <laughs> it looks too bad. I need flour. Oh, I have cornstarch. Why did I buy more cornstarch? What the fuck? Y'all see that? What just happened? Do I need to mix the cornstarch in water first and then, yeah. Ah! No. 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 Wow. Rainy fan five result for 32 months. Thank you for the 32 months. Surely this is enough. Oh my God, it's not enough. Wow. Grimes reset for 16 months. Shoot. What am I gonna do?
Because I have. Should I just go for it and hope that they stay together? Why can't she use flour? I'm out of flour. I have, um, let's see, yeah, black seeds. Oh, I have chia seeds. I'm stupid. You know what I have is, uh, I have masa flour. That won't work, right? It's just not the same. No, don't do that. It's corn. No. I don't think this is gonna do it. Lentils, snap peas. Coconut flakes. Well, maybe I just do a bunch of cornstarch and add water. No. No, stupid idea. Stupid. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should just mix it in and see if they stick together. Can't use egg, I'm vegan. All right, let's see what it's looking like. Chia, no. That looks nothing like the video. Doesn't even look like I put anything in there to be if I'm being honest. Okay, alternatively to trying to fry these into pancakes, what if, uh, what if I bake it in a dish and press it down? Then it might stay. Let's do that instead. We'll bake it, we'll bake it. We'll bake it. It'll be fine. It'll be great. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. Alexa, play feather. Feather by Sabrina Carpenter is terrifying. Grease pan. Do you want them to stick together and make a batter? What? 
Yeah, I would like for them to stick together, but it is what it is. Ah, oh, shit. Do I need to make two of these? Goodness gracious. Oh. Alright, this better be good. Marcella Costa Toyama resubbed for two months. Thank you for the two months. I hit ignore. I. I'm going to eat these with ketchup. What do you guys think? Should I press it down? It's uncharted territory. Yeah, you're right. Stuck between my anger. So, what do you eat for protein? Tofu mostly. Uh, I think my main protein source since I've been vegan is beans. But this week, I'm admittedly being like really terrible about protein. So, I'm gonna rely on. Uh, my protein powders, really. All right. What is that? I don't know. I can't play this stuff. Alexa, play copyright free jazz. I want to make a uh, uh, creamy, spicy pasta, tomato pasta. to use this water to boil it. It's a big water resource here. Hope 
that's enough. We'll see. Space brought me these waters, which is very nice. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Marcelo, thank you for the Prime Grimes, thank you. Rainy, Epic, Little Nala, thank you. Making soup? No, I'm making uh, pasta. Were you defeated by the kickflip? No. The tortoise? We'll get here as soon as we finish the enclosure. Um, but also construction is paused because of the freeze. Anything wrong with tap water? Uh, no, it's just our pipes are frozen, so I don't have any. Can a tourist do a kickflip? Definitely not. All right, I need butter. How's the tiny house? It's fine. Um, I cannot imagine living in a tiny house my whole life. I love it, but I also hate it. I mostly love it though. Uh, but you really learn about like space being a luxury. Like the, I just get so irritated. It's such a dumb, dumb thing. Cause it is a really big space, but I'm just constantly like bumping into shit and like, you know, and like hitting things. And then if you leave something on a counter or like on a couch, uh, it looks like you are a hoarder, which I feel is really unfair. <laughs> but you know, that's just how it is. That's a tiny house. Yeah, it is. Um, it's like, just over 30 feet long, 11 feet across. But the ceilings are real high. My loft is up here, so you can't, it looks like a normal size space maybe. A big space, it's not that big. More butter, this is vegan butter. Um, it's earth balance, I like it a lot. The kitchen is huge, yeah. That, a garlic. Chili flakes. I'm also a, a pretty small person. Should we see if I've lost weight being vegan? Because a lot of people go on plant-based diets to lose weight, and that was something that I was worried about. No, I'm 104. That's way better than I thought. <clears throat> All right, butter, melt down the butter, put in garlic and chili flakes, put in tomato paste, put in oat milk, uh, that's all she wrote. I would put flour in it, but I don't have any. <laughs> so. Salt your pasta water. How tall are you? I thought I was too late at 5'5". Five five. I'm 5'1". Five Five two, if you want to be nice about it. My sister's four eleven. She was actually really close. We thought in high school, we thought she was because she was still growing. We thought she'd be able to have a handicap sticker on her car. Cause um, I 
think you're a legal midget. Like, what is it? I think it was like four nine or something, four ten. Man, I really need flour in there. That's too bad. Four ten. And canceled? Is that not the term? That's what we said in in high school. I don't know if the term's different now. Is it little person now? Little person. Sorry. Is that still the, is that the legal term now? I'm making this whole bag of pasta because I feel like it's not that big of a bag. Let garlic fry a little bit. Let pasta boil. I'm gonna put spinach in this too, cause I have it. Pasta so good, pasta is, that's a lot of pasta. Yeah, but it's meal prep. It's not for, <laughs> it's not like I'm making, serving for lunch right now. That would be a little crazy. Okay, this, this, we're gonna get this. That'll do, thank you very much. Tomato paste. Eh. Oh, stupid, that was stupid. I feel so much lighter like a feather with you off my mind. With you off my mind. I may have burnt these chili flakes a little bit. What making creamy tomato pasta? I'm making it with oat milk. I might have to put a cornstarch slurry in it because it's looking real thin and sad right now. Looking real thin and sad right now. I am doing a cornstarch slurry. Call me crazy. Oh no, I'm gonna add a bunch of this in there. I don't know. I don't know yet. Let's see what it looks like when it starts cooking down. Dude, tomato paste is really hard to get out of there. Jeez. How many calories do you eat a day? I don't know. Should I? Do y'all count your calories? People count their calories for lots of different reasons. Probably not enough. I don't, I don't eat enough calories, probably. I count macros and calories for a bulk. Uh. That's good. Look, if you're into it, good. You did just trigger a little bit of my past dating gym guys. My boyfriend goes to the gym, but he's not like a, oh my God, I've dated some guys that are like, holy shit. College.
Cornstarch slurry. What sorority were you a part of? I was not in a sorority. I did have friends that were in sororities. Have you thought about being a chef before opening an animal sanctuary? I have never considered doing that, no. That's gonna be weird. <laughs> it is what it is. <sighs> See what happens. Actually, it does look a lot better. Vegan mozzarella. This stuff is actually really good. It tastes like string cheese. Um, there's just like nothing in it that's good for you though. It's a uh, oat cream blend, coconut oil, tapioca starch, safflower oil, cornstarch, and like a bunch of salt. But it's really good. It tastes really good anyway. I'm not a dietitian. I had a dietitian ghost me the other week. It was kind of sad. I might have put too much cornstarch in here, and I am afraid I'm making spicy, creamy tomato slime. <laughs> it's getting a little crazy in here. It's getting a little, little, little gobbledygook. Perhaps. We'll see. This is what it looks like so far. You see it? Without me tilting the pan too much and ruining my life. It looks good. Actually, I feel fine about it. I will add some pasta water. Check the oven. Oh shit! I forgot I put them in there. I have no fucking idea what I'm looking for there. I really don't. <laughs> I don't know what that's gonna, I don't know what to expect. It's not burned, but it's gonna take like, there's zucchini in there and like uncooked potato and uncooked peppers so and onions. So I feel like it could be in there a long time, right? All right, that's enough for you. You need to relax. You guys want the second camera? Slam the door, I. Hit ignore, I. I feel so much lighter like a feather with you off my mind. Ah! This is what my sauce looks like. I actually like it. I think it looks good. Close the door. Oh. I was going to slam it, but it opens in. I slam the door. I hit ignore. You guys want to see what the chia looks like? Let's see.
Oh! I might need more liquid. It needs more liquid. Maybe I'll put some creamer in it now. It's crazy. No, it's crazy, it's crazy. Just do some oat milk. We'll just do some oat milk. I'm making shea pudding. But it is, holy moly. I put agave in it. Give it a mixy mix. see pasta's got to be close to being done if it's not already done how are you looking champ Feels nice. Is that a one piece? What? No. Oh my god. It's really freaking in there. Ow! This is hard. I wanna stick my hands in it? Yeah, that's fair. Texturally, it's very fun. I, some people actually, the texture of chia really freaks them out. I like it. Okay. I just wanna make sure this is all, yeah, my hand's in there now. Like, it looks like this, but it gets, uh, the chia gets even bigger, more gelatinous. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it like this then. Added more liquid, we'll see. What's it for? Eating! I'm layering pineapple preserves and coconut flakes with this. Probably breakfast, maybe dessert, I don't know. Dessert if I wanna be a cringe vegan. Oh, look at this delicious chia pudding is my dessert for the night, what a sweet treat. Kind of stupid. Sorry, I don't, that, that was unnecessary. That's fine, if you like that, that's fine. Wahoo! Adding pasta water, make sauce silky. Nice. I should probably taste this before I put all my pasta in there. Let's see. Nice. It's really good. want spicier. I wish that I toasted more of this, but it is what it is. It's okay. All right, pasta. I feel like 
Was the stove top burning pink? It burns red. Broccoli sprout cucumber mushroom sandwich. That was my favorite vegan snack. Can I be honest with you? <laughs> or do you not want me to, to be? I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Sorry, it sounds really yuck. Oh, I wanted to put spinach in this. These spinach leaves are too big though. I want to chop them up. There's going to be a little cornstarch in the pasta. That's okay. Maybe a chia seed or two. That's kind of fun. You know, there is protein in spinach, people. There is, so. There's not? Yes, there is! You ever heard of Popeye, asshole? You know one of the things that I realized when I was watching that, that skateboard guy watch my stream is I swear way too much. Why did the spinach just scream at me? Did you hear that? Wow. <laughs> now I feel so bad. For the first time. I know that looks like a lot of spinach and that's because it is. Lucky Square is up for 23 months. Lucky Square? Thank you for the 23 months. Oh yeah. <laughs> Low key ruined. Cause like imagine just pasta with just creamy tomato sauce. The dream, but like we're adults, you know, like there's spinach in the fridge. It's good for you. We should just eat it. You know what I mean? We're not little butter noodle babies anymore. I ate butter noodles three times last week. That's a lot of pasta. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. I like this pasta shape. You see? It's fun. It's like folded. That is one silky sauce. I'm shocked that that's... Maybe I should use cornstarch and pasta sauce. It's like so silky. The cover's really nice. Look at that. He's beautiful. You guys want some ASMR? Star underscore make a result for two months. Alvius toast. Thank you for two months. Toast! I'm gonna try it. I need food. I ate two hash browns this morning. Don't you guys think that it's a punishment? Number one, that when you drink a bunch of water, you have to pee all the time. Uh, and number two, when you eat breakfast in the morning, you're hungry more throughout the day. Don't you think that's fucked up? Wow. State affiliated media reserved for seven months. Seven months of next people candle when? It's a good question. I don't know. I probably could have put a little more tomato paste in there, but just like color wise, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I could have used more tomato paste.
It's nice. Pasta. No salt and pepper Americans, I swear to God. What are you, English? Sorry, I don't put half a tomato that's partially cooked and four mushrooms. For eight months. And curdled blood on a plate for breakfast. I seasoned this. Well, it was cooking. This is really good. And the beans. No, I'm vegan. I've been vegan since January 1st. While I eat this, do you guys want to watch the video? The one the professional skateboarder made me? I haven't seen it. Yeah. The guy with the world record for number of kickflips in a minute watched all my kickflip attempts He's a professional skateboarder, and he made a video for me. Did he roast you? I don't know. Let's find out. I actually have not watched it yet. Jeez, this pasta's good. What the frick? I'm crazy. All right, can you guys hear me? Is everybody ready? Let's see. Um, where's my cam? Teaching Maya Higa how to kickflip. So she posted this two hours ago? I've reacted to Two hours ago. Ricky Glasser. Glaser? Glasser? He's Australian. Let's see. Shall we? You guys ready? Um, so again, this guy is a pro skateboarder. He has the world record for the amount of kickflips in one minute. He did like 35 or 36 kickflips in one minute. And... Um, he watched all of my kickflip attempts from my stream, and then he made a video of, like, I guess it's advice. I don't genuinely have not seen this video. I don't know if he's giving me advice or if he's just going to say, like, this girl sucked. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I've reacted to lots of different creators and influencers learning how to skateboard. I offer my thoughts and try to provide helpful tips and insights to them and viewers that might be in a similar situation. Well, a bunch of you have messaged me about a new player in the space, Maya Higa. I don't know a whole lot about her, but she seems to be a popular I'll Twitch streamer with a not-for-profit wildlife sanctuary. Okay, she okay. She decided to take it upon herself to learn how to kickflip difficult but not impossible task that we have seen before. The difference with her is she is doing it live in front of thousands of people on Twitch. I watched the replay of her attempts and I'm making this video specifically for her to learn how to kickflip. We had Thanks, a Ricky. back and forth on Twitter and she said this. Did you guys see that pro skateboarder that replied to me on Twitter? There was a, a pro skateboarder. I don't, I don't know how he got oh, this. I don't remember what I said. Record for the number of kickflips in a minute. He's like, let me know if you need any help. Ricky, 
Glacier, pro skater said he'll do a video just for you. That's so he did say that. It's kind of nuts. I do hope that she can actually find this video. So if you did want to add her on social media or mention this in the Twitch chat, that would be much. Appreciated. I found it. Okay, Maya. Firstly, I want to say that you 100% can do this, and I really admire the dedication and level of sending so far. I want to remind you of some of the things you've achieved in your skateboarding journey. Went to a skate park, rode down a ramp, got kicked out of a skate spot, slammed, credit carded, landed primo, and learned how to ollie. We're good! This is really good for two sessions. I saw you had a few questions and I wanted to clear a few things up for you. I can see you have good skills pushing around from your previous longboarding experience with your right foot forward. But when it comes to doing tricks, you have your left foot forward. Mm -hmm. This is a little uncommon, but isn't a problem. Okay. Don't sweat it and don't Saved. let your friends convince you otherwise. So right now, just you hear that? on doing your ollies and kickflips stationary. We don't need to worry about rolling at all. Secondly, the shoes you were wearing were not appropriate for skating at all. Having any kind of platform shoes makes it way harder to feel and maneuver the board. The Walmart vans you ended up getting seem to be working well, so stick with those. Oh. And third, your friend Flip is not a good coach at all. Oh my god, leave him alone! No, you can just get straight to kickflip. Ouch. He's not a coach. No business trying kickflips without being able to ollie. Damn. Eventually did learn on your own. That was not his decision. I'm going to break the rest of the video down into two parts and you can listen to each section when you are ready. Section one will be getting better at ollies and improving your technique a little bit to prepare for doing the kickflip. And section two will be learning how to actually kickflip. For the ollies, I'm going to fix your foot positioning a little bit. Your front foot needs to be lower on the board. The way that you get into the air is by sliding this foot up as you jump. Mm. If you don't leave enough room for the I wasn't slide, doing that. Stunt your height. Mm. I know we're not going for the world's highest ollie, but we do need more control Jeez, and yeah. height. Then with your back foot, really try to use the ball of your foot. If you use the flat part, it's much harder to jump and propel yourself into the air. You have much more control with the ball of your foot. Okay, somebody in chat just said to use my toe on the back foot, not my whole foot. And I actually think that could be a game changer. One other tip is to make sure that you crouch properly. Don't How did he make this so fast? I also want you to stop this little charge up method you have been doing. It's kind of messing up your time. <laughs> I recommend trying your best not to do this. And you don't like that? Burst out your energy as you pop. Section two, actually learning how to kickflip. Okay, full disclosure, this is very hard and is very physically and mentally demanding. I know that you can do it, but if you did this within five streams, I'll be super impressed. But make sure that you don't give up. Do the same thing you're doing for all oh, these, no. except start with your foot a little bit more off to the side. And when you're sliding up, kick and flick it off. Try to learn this technique for flipping the board. At first, don't worry about landing back on the board. Just see if you can flip it all the way around with some level of control and consistency. Once you've got that down, you can try to land it with one foot. First land with the front foot and first land with the oh, back foot. Oh, interesting. Just really practice getting the flip and having a little bit of control over it. Before you start trying the actual kick flip, I have one more exercise for you to try. Hold onto a railing like this. It can make it a lot easier because you can hold yourself up in the air and kind of teach your body the right idea. It's definitely worth trying to find a good place like this. I would recommend this one that you can hold onto with both hands from your backside. But if you can only find a fence like this, that will still be somewhat helpful too. After you feel like you have those steps down, we can actually try to commit to some. I will definitely do this stationary on grass. Summon up all your courage and try to actually land back on the board when you flip it. This will be very hard, very frustrating, and hit you in the shins a lot. I truly believe that you can do this, and I'm looking forward to seeing you try again. Just make sure that you do not give up. If you want to see some more examples, I taught a non-skateboarder how to kickflip in this video, and I taught my girlfriend how to kickflip in this video. You're also welcome to message me on IG if you want some more real-time tips. That is it. Good luck. I like skate. Oh my god! How did he make that video so fast? That's a great video. That was so nice. Thank you so much. I love that. Um, I am going to try again on Wednesday unless it's like snowing. Um, let me link it to y'all. I would really appreciate it if you guys liked, commented on this video. Put a lot of work into that. He did not have to do that. So that was really, really nice. Really cool. Um, but yeah, I know, uh, I know nothing about skateboarding. <laughs> I know nothing about skateboarding or that community, but so far, um, besides everyone hating Flip, they seem really cool. <laughs> they seem really nice, really helpful. 
really welcoming to everyone except for Flip. So, uh, that's sick of them. Appreciate that. All right, well, I'll pull up that video again, probably, on Wednesday. We'll get another go. See what happens. We need to check that stuff back in the oven, huh? Because, uh, probably needs to come out by, at, by now. Anyway, thank you so much, Ricky. appreciate it. Hope you see this. I have seen the video. It's an excellent video. Will help me a lot. I will not give up. I will do a kickflip. Cool. 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 Crazy. Crazy. Sorry. Sorry. Doubled up, Mike. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wicked. 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 Man, that's crazy. That was so nice. Sanatorium reserved for four months. You can do it. Thank you. So, your sweater is really cute. Thanks. This Wednesday, I will leave. You think so? He said he doesn't think I can do it in five streams. Do you guys know, is Lud actually going to try it? Doubtful. He called me the other day and I, I figured out he called me because he was doing that thing that the tier list that Cutie did where you call people and then you rank them on how fast they were, uh, pick up. He called me and he was like, can I steal your kickflip idea? And I was like, yeah. For four months. Someone said to kickflip with hands. I think they meant as if hands were feet. Mm-hmm. Would go crazy if it became a meta. Everybody does a kickflip. Meat that's more sustainable, environmentally or sustainably safe. Poultry is much better for the environment than beef is, but no meat at all is pretty sick. It looks like this right now. It's so hard to tell. Okay, um, I want to put that pasta in. He's very smart for doing that. Ricky is, I mean. The whole like streamer meta thing. But with something that he knows that well and very clever. Love Vermont, but it's the season of the sticks and I. It's a lot of pasta. Who knew? How many days does that last you? Really? I meal prep for like lunch. 
lunches and then I make my own dinners normally. Um, so like this is three lunches. fine. Doesn't it go a bit stale? It depends on what you're making. Some things meal prep super well. I think pastas meal prep really well. He's a little baby. Thank you for the 17 months. It's a long time. Um, I think pastas meal prep really well. I think salads meal prep really shit. Um, sandwiches meal prep super shit. I don't know. You know, you kind of, you learn as you're meal prepping what, there's also just like, like I think soups are a pretty solid thing to meal prep, but not for me. Like I have a crazy aversion to soup once it's not hot anymore. Or like if it's cold and in the fridge. Also, if you put things in soup, like pastas and potatoes and stuff, it, they soak up a lot of the broth. And so then it feels soggy once it goes in the, in the fridge. And I can't, it just, it really throws me. So I can't do soups anymore. Um, the only way I could do soup, and I have thought about doing this, is if I make like, when I do my veggie stock, I might do a soup and then like cook all the stuff to go in it on the side and like put it in a container like this and then heat up the broth and like pour that in. I think that's the only way I'd feel fine about uh, eating meal prep soup. <laughs> la 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 la. Just blend it pea soup style. Mm. Eh. I'm going to do a tech check uh, on Thursday for saving the world for dummies. Um, my, my new series where I go out to businesses and do like a dirty jobs day at a business that's uh, working on sustainability or, or has a focus on sustainability. So the first one um, is with this guy who, I haven't met him in person yet, but I've talked to him on the phone to play on the series and he seems really cool. Like seems like someone you guys would really like. He's got vegan food trucks. Um, and so we're gonna hopefully get in the taco truck, the vegan taco truck. He has like, um, I don't know. So, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna invite some friends uh, to come try the tacos at the end of the stream, should be fun. So expose you guys to a little bit of that. I would like to do vegan restaurants is one. Uh, sustainable shopping, so like thrift stores, probably. Um, that The date for that stream is January 25th. I'm going to do a tech check on Thursday for it though. Uh, I wanna do sustainable shopping. Um, I would love to do shade grown coffee. I've had a really hard time finding a business that is interested in collaborating with me for, for Shade Grown Coffee. Um, I might, honestly, I might do one at Austin Pets Alive uh, as a Saving the World for Dummy stream because one of the ways that you can um, help wildlife is by adopting just cats and dogs, by, by not acquiring exotic pets. So maybe I could do something where it's like, you know, around like, look how great dogs and cats are. This is all you need, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe, maybe do that. That'd be cool. I've been meaning to go back there. They're really great. Maverick, I'm just gonna let you know there's absolutely no way in hell that anyone is walking up today, all right? Where'd I put my phone? I wanna show you something or Bella's gonna have to come over here. Bella, come, Bella. Can you come show them? Bella was cold this morning. 
Um, this is the hoodie that Reed chewed up. And I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't want to trash it because it wasn't messed up enough. <laughs> so I cut the sleeves off because there were holes in the sleeves. And I cut the end off so it fits her. She's been wearing this all day. She likes it. She gets cold easier than Mav does. I'm not sure why. Can you show them your hood? She's now a VS employee now. <laughs> Pro tip, if you don't want to buy a $60 dog sweater, you should cut up an old sweatshirt. It fits them fine. This nice. Hi, yes, you're nice. Anyway, this was a merch prototype that uh, never got produced and went out. So it is one of one. Now it is hers. <laughs> Wicked. Ow. Do you think I should take these out? They've been in there a long time. I feel like maybe they're cooked. I'm just not sure they're gonna get like crispy. And I don't wanna put the broiler on because bad things happen when I put the broiler on. They've been in there at 350 for like, what, like an hour? Should I take them out? I need my phone. Slam the door, I. Hit ignore. I. Okay, I'm gonna take him out. I'm just gonna take him out. I don't know what's worse could happen. Nothing. Nothing. Hot. I also don't know if I want to like, I guess it'd be good if I could pop them out and then like this four sections and one, one fourth, I think could be breakfast. This like honestly same cause it's flatter right? Like eight pieces, I think would be good. And I feel like I'll be more keen to take it out, put it in the microwave if it's in pieces already, but I don't want to touch it right now. It's too hot. Sounds like they're still cooking. Do y'all think that something's done cooking when it stops making sounds? What do you mean by that? I don't understand that. Of course. Pay all this money. Have all this debt from education. You come out like this. I had a conversation with an old guy the other day about um, how the government is taking away our rights. And uh, this was, he was talking, he was saying this to me. He said, the government is taking away all of our rights uh, telling me about the bureaucracy and what to look out for and that we paid for COVID to be made in a lab in China. It was a lot. Most top Elliot subbed for 23 months. Puck. Thank you. You don't have to agree with everybody you meet. You're right. I met him. <laughs> um, I want to look at the pudding again. I think it needs to go. If I ate it right now, no, I need to let it be. I still feel like it's...
still feel like it needs more liquid. But I don't want to mix it again. Take a spoonful. No, it's going to be really crunchy still. Taste test. I also don't want to dirty another spoon. Do I have... Mm. Baby spoon. It's too thick, man. Hello? Oh. It's good though. I've I've never made chia pudding with coconut milk, but I like that a lot. That's sick. I'm gonna try mixing it with this chopstick. What do you think about that? Do you think it's gonna work? Surely I can just send this oat milk down through the, you know? Just shake it. I don't, you know, I don't know if you can see the viscosity of this, but uh, that's not gonna happen. Do I need to split this into two jars? Cause it's gonna expand, I do. It's gonna expand. It's too much chia pudding for one jar. Then it'll be easier to add oat milk. I wanted to eat time. that. Thank you for the sub. Oh no. No! Well, hopefully that's enough liquid. Yeah, it is. I feel fine about that. Ow! It's not the easiest grip. Okay. Chia pudding, chia pudding. I'm actually really excited about this. Okay, we got an experimental jar. It's a little thicker than the other one and one that has more liquid. We'll see how it goes. Yum. What does it taste like? Mm. If uh, you know what it tastes like, if there was coconut flavored tapioca yogurt, I don't know if it's just throwing me because of the texture, but it's like very creamy, like tapioca. Um. And there's, there's something in there that reminds me of tapioca, but it also tastes like coconut because it's in coconut milk. I like it a lot. I'm actually stoked about that. Thank you for the sub. She is expensive though. That bag was like, I think this was like $5 something. 
Much alter gifted a tier two sub to Jeff. Most dope the lizard Pepe the Goblin, thank you for gifting or thank you for the subs. Do you think I should uh try to flip these? Can you? I don't know. Interesting. Well, I may be eating this in a bowl. Yeah, I grease the pan. Shake it like a pancake, dude. It's not like it's. Okay, if I want to be really crazy, I do think that this would hold if I pan fried it now. You know what I mean? But then I have to do another pan. do it but I'm really sad about oh wait a second what if <laughs> what if we brought out the George Foreman what if we brought what if we and we I think it could work Dude, if I had a waffle maker, I would actually do I don't have one, so. Okay. I think this will be fine. Just make it a little more circular, you know?
I want to open it so bad, but it also is a bad idea to open it. It's got to be like, it's got to get a good crust on it, you know, before it's safe to... I didn't spray it, but I've never sprayed this. Because it's, the nonstick goes crazy. It moved quite a bit. Well, because I squished it, so the shape is not what I expected it to be. But I think it might be working. Ready? Oh, are you kidding me? That's absolutely working. Holy shit. utensils. I want to get browner. Does the Fortnite dance make it cook faster? Did I just do, I don't think I Fortnite emoted, don't say that. What a nightmare. Accidentally Fortnite dancing. Spatula. Oh, stupid. It's right there. I think I want to use this to get it out. Okay, you ready? Are you done? No. I don't know. I want it to get like brown. It's not browning. I guess it just needs more time. Did I really? Oh, it's not hot enough. I was like, I put this. I put this baking pan, baking pan that was in a 350 degree oven for an hour on my plastic cutting board. It's fine though. What did you make? I'm making veggie pancakes right now. It's taking forever. Making pancakes, making, making pancakes. Making pancakes, making veggie pancakes. I'll take it. Oh. I wanna go a little longer. Perhaps it should be slightly smaller. It's just a little soft is all. It just needs to be a little crispier. Also at this rate, it's gonna take freaking forever. Maybe because it's hot now, it'll take less time. <sighs> Need something to bind it? Yeah, well, that's the problem, isn't it? Okay, it's gotta come out. Veggie pancake. Or take those, I'm gonna put parchment in between them. 
Otherwise, there's no way they're coming out of there. Let me start the second one while I do this. Okonomiyaki. It's like savory Japanese pancake. Wicked. Hot. <laughs> Woo. It's in there. Is the security camera used as a kitchen cam? Yeah, that one. It's my stove cam. How's the Texas weather today? I don't want to talk about it. It's like 17 outside. 15? Too cold. I don't know what that is in Celsius. How are the animals handling it? Uh, last night I put a Sarah's blanket on at like 11 p.m. or something, it was awful. <laughs> I was, it's, it's like 15 degrees outside. I have his blanket. I have a flashlight tucked into my jacket, which made me look scary because I'm a walking, they can't see me because it's dark outside. All they see is this walking flashlight with a giant wrinkly blanket or like crinkling blanket. So they're scared. So they're like running around the pasture. And I was like, please, please, like it is, I don't want to be out here for very long, but then they started feeding a Sarah with the grain feeder and then I was saved. Anyway, um, a Sarah has a blanket on, he's fine. The fox is great. The foxes are doing great. The crows are fine. Uh, the crows have a heater. The marmosets inside 24-7 uh, now um, have a heater. Parrots, same thing. Have a heater. Chickens, same thing. Really. Everyone's doing good. Nice. One more time. Why don't you spray it this time? I didn't spray it last time either. We're making uh, vegetable pancakes right now. Honestly, it's not my best work. If you couldn't tell. That pasta though, killed that. Chia pudding, excellent, killed that. Okay, I need you to stay in one piece, okay? Well, I almost made it. It's fine.
Any good books you recommend about the environment or earth? It depends on what you want. Uh, I'm reading An Immense World right now, which is really interesting. Um, it's about like animal senses and how they experience the world differently than we do. Uh, but one, if you like want to try to be more sustainable, um, is it really green? It is pretty good. Um, uh, I'm also, I have, <laughs> I'm not, I wouldn't even say that I'm reading it yet. I've read like five pages, but um, The Insect Crisis, I've started. I imagine it's gonna be pretty good, but I can't really vouch for that one yet. What was the depressing one? Uh, is it really green? Is it really green is one of those things where it's like, what's better, uh, electric hand dryers or paper towels? Um, should I be buying a, a plastic Christmas tree, Christmas tree or real ones, stuff like that? And it's kind of one of those like, just makes you, it, I mean, it tells you everything. So it just makes you feel bad about everything because <laughs> that's how it is. Whoop. Cha-cha-cha-chia. cha 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 uh, The answer for the Christmas trees was like, if you have a plastic Christmas tree for 10 years or more, then it's better. I think. I don't know that for sure. I don't know that for sure. Look at the, I don't know. Look at the book. How do you square being vegan and driving a car running on dinosaurs? You know, one of the beautiful and unfortunate things about being a human being, uh, you can't win them all. What matters is that you're trying your best, you know? How do you square being a good person and hurting people throughout your life? Yeah. Can't win them all, is what it is. You just gotta do your best at the end of the day. It is not about a few of us doing everything perfectly. It is about a ton of us doing everything a little better. That's what matters. I do drive a hybrid though. Just saying. And his name's Banky Blonky. Tell that to my shithead wife. You ever wonder if your wife has the problems she does because you call her a shithead anonymously online? Sounds like you're the problem, buddy. It's her maiden name? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Uh, we made, I made creamy tomato pasta. I made, I'm making veggie pancakes and I made chia pudding. Ooh, that one looks good. That's a lot. I made your bean salsa recipe from a couple weeks ago and it was yummy. I need to make the pancakes sometime. You know, okay, don't. Uh, the bean thing, I vouch, is I really like it. 
Like I really like having that in my fridge. I have never made this before and I have not tried it. So like, I would not do it just yet, but I appreciate your confidence in me. Yeah, or just make sure you have flour. What do you call a dog that can do magic? I don't know. A labracadabra dog. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Some of you were like, oh, come on, it's so easy. Oh, come on, it's a classic. Are you serious? You wanted me to just come up with that? <laughs> Labracadabrador. Dude. Hold on, hear me out. With my cricket. I thrifted this uh, little mini pint glass, beer glass thing. I draw a Labrador with a wizard hat and I put Labracadabrador. <laughs> Etsy next week. Mark your calendars. Thrifted from the local bar. Dude, I'm sorry. Where do you think I would, where do you think I would put this? I didn't get this from a bar. I'm also way too scared to do that. In your purse or sloth? Sloth would not fit that. King Pookie 533 subbed for the first time. Thank you for the sub. Um, I have a problem. I, I told you guys. I uh, personify inanimate things too often. And I put... Uh, I put fabric, my fabric glue in sloth because it was in the studio and it needed to come up to my house. So I put my fabric glue in sloth and then I got up here and I was like, where is my fabric glue? And my boyfriend was here and I was like, I can't find my fabric glue. And I started like scolding sloth because I was like, where did you put it? Because it was in here and now it's not. And then later. <laughs> 500 bits. Buy another crafting tip. Do not but cricket the negative and you can buy glass etching solution so it becomes frosted glass smile. Yeah. Um I have heard that. That's cool. Uh I don't have an etching tool right now, but it would be sick. Uh so I started I started yelling at sloth because I was like, what did you do with the fabric glue? And then I gave up because he didn't say anything. Um, and then couldn't found it. And then I found it like hours later on the floor. And then I side-eyed sloth cause I was mad. And my boyfriend was like, why are you looking at him like that? And I was like, because he spit it out wow. over here. And my boyfriend was like, you, I don't know. I think he was concerned. He was like, that's crazy. <laughs> Dude, these, this sucks. Having dishes right now really sucks. And like, it's not easy. You can't like put them in a, I don't know what to put them in. No. No, I'm not gonna toss them. Does the nut house have water? No, it doesn't. That one's unfortunate. This one, my house, whatever. Like, I lived here without water for months. Not a big deal. The nut house one sucks. 
Dun 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 How many animals at Alvaeus know their names? Winnie knows her name. Abbott knows his name. Appa and Momo know their names. Siren, Mia. Probably Tico and Miley. Finn, Reed. Winnie. Beetle. That might be it. I don't know if Stompy... Stompy knows a whistle, but I'm not sure he knows his name. Hank! Cows know their name. Winnie knows her name, 100%, yeah. She also knows when. Like, if you're standing next to her and you go, when, she'll... <laughs> underscore 20 subbed for the first time moons thank you for the thank you for the tier one people wow lunae power power 101 subbed for the first time luna thank you for the tier one did you guys know that you can link your amazon account to your Twitch account and you you have a prime sub you can use for free on any streamer every month and then you get no ads and you get emotes nice dude Loronimo, ah! <laughs> thank you for the prime. Marty, thank you for the prime. Drew Boyo resubbed for 15 months. No way. Jai subbed for the first time. Salty Prome resubbed for three months. Lorana and Mar Marty, Drew Boy, Jai Salty, thank you guys for the primes. It actually is pretty crispy. I mean, not that it really matters because, you know, they're going in the fridge and I'm going to microwave them, but at least they're staying together. Um, honestly, I'm kind of stoked. I feel like for lunch, you take one of these, put some ketchup on it, um, have a little protein smoothie, have some fruit or something. It's pretty good. I think it would be better if it was like, if there were like, two, three eggs in the batter and it held together better. And then there was protein in it, but I'm not eating eggs right now. I think that after January, I think I am gonna start eating eggs again though, because I really, I feel fine about the uh, certified humane label. Um, so long as I'm not wasting any eggs, um, I don't mind buying those. Like I feel, I feel fine about that. So I might start eating eggs again in February. It's also just like such an easy protein source. So, all right, let him cool down. Him being what? The whole wow. container of all the pancakes? Oh, no, all right, whatever. For 19 months, a fife gulp. Serrano Larsa, thank you for the 19 months. All right, guys. It is Monday, I have a call in an hour, then I gotta film one about it in two hours. So, I'm gonna go. Go do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it, thank you for the subs. Appreciate that as well. Thank you for buying this stuff from, it's not in here. Thank you for buying the Etsy stuff. I'm having so much fun with that. I really appreciate it. Um, it's It's been like really, really fun for me to be able to just make whatever I want and not feel bad about making stuff because of that Etsy store. So thank you. Um, there is a YouTube video uh, that is supposed to be out. Stolen. Stolen. Thank you for the 10. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. 
Um, there is a YouTube video coming out. It's a vlog. Uh, uh, it's a different, actually. It's I went to a vegan restaurant. Logan, thank you for the five. Thank you so much. Uh, I went to a vegan restaurant and I vlogged it. So it's it's different. I've never made a vlog like that before. So we're experimenting and seeing how it does. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, that is that is coming out today. Um, so, yeah. YouTube video today. I will see you on Wednesday uh, to kickflip. Wednesday for sure. Wednesday for sure I do a kickflip. I'll see you then. Go hang out with the animals today. It's cold. You can still feed Winnie if you want. Keep an eye on everybody. Stay cozy. Stay warm, guys. See you in a couple days. To kickflip. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Thank you, goodbye.